I am a kinetic sculptor, so I make uh, mainly metal sculpture which moves. What I want my work to do is to unfold and change each time you approach it. It's hopefully going to be different or do something which surprises you. So it's an interaction with the viewer that I'm interested in. I don't consciously build carrots into the work, but I would say definitely each work has its own personality. So for instance, with dust, it's been described as two squabbling siblings. Uh, one pushes the dust across, the other one picks it up and drops it back. Um, so it's really a, that piece is really about a cycle. Most machines are designed to do a job and they, they need to be doing it again and again. So there is always an element of that with mechanical sculpture. But what I try to do is in, introduce a, an element of something else. So by using sensors, that breaks that cycle and makes them perform and stop. I've always been interested in music, but there's different ways I use sound. So in some of the sculptures I take an existing, like a vinyl record, and change the way the sound comes out so the bagpipes become something completely different. I'm also interested in um, picking up a tiny noise and amplifying it, so with pin drop, that's, that was the idea. Expanding on a very simple phrase that you could hear a pin drop, so um, it, it, was, it has a tiny element of humour to it as well. The ideas come all the time and I keep a very small sketchbook with me and make little drawings. Sometimes the, the ideas will just remain in the books or if they're a strong enough idea they come back often enough and I have to make them. And I find an opportunity or an exhibition where I will make a physical object. I suppose in some ways they're all self-portraits, the figures. Um, so I'm interested in that relationship between us and machines. Um, and I'm just exploring that in different ways. There's a very strong theme in my work, which is to do with the way in which we perceive our environment and the way we perceive a sculpture. So I'm quite interested in illusion and almost tricking the viewer into seeing something or something unfolding and becoming clear that is not clear at first. So the latest shadow sculpture, Becoming Whole, creates the figure, uh, on a projected shadow of the figure from a jumble of wire. And this is a progression from the uh, anamorphic projection, uh, anamorphic man, which was a static physical sculpture and it, the viewer had to come and stand in the right position in order to, to solve the puzzle, really, and to see the piece. There is a recurring theme in my work of um, the cycles of life. So uh, pieces like dust are to do with um, us, the struggle to exist. 